A lot of people wondering about the movie Maleficent. I think that's how you say it. I keep messing it up. My little sister gets mad. She's like, no, you can't call it Maleficent. Wait, what is it Maleficent? Malef no, what I keep calling it is Maleficent. And she's like, no, that's not what it's called. I'm like so confused on how to pronounce it. But anyways, I'm going to read the Catholic movie review that they have out online for it right now, currently. Because I've heard a lot of like varying opinions about it from lots of Catholic people, Catholic sources, Catholic people. And so I want to know what you think about it, if you've seen it, or after we hear this movie review, what you think of it. And so I'll read it right now. This is from Catholic News Service. And it says, Even an iconic villainess may not be all bad, is the first line. That's the message of the, this Disney movie. This live-action, feminist retelling of the Magic Kingdom's 1959 animated feature of Sleeping Beauty seeks to rehabilitate the original film's thoroughly wicked fairy godmother. Along with its moral shadings, however, director Robert Stromberg 3D Fantasy introduces other novelties that may not sit well with romantics or with those committed to the traditional family. His picture also has enough dark imagery and bloodless battling to make it unsuitable for the smallest moviegoers. Okay, just that paragraph, it's like, or those with, they may disturb those with who are committed to the traditional family. It's like, wait, aren't Catholics supposed to be committed to traditional family? And this is a Catholic article. Uh, okay. Um, Angelina Jolie takes up the title character, one once voiced by Eleanor Audley, as opening scenes show us, Maleficent, Malef Maleficent, Maleficent, I think that's how you say it, portrayed in youth by Isabel Malloy, was initially a good spirit. In fact, she served as the principal protectress of her enchanted homeland, the Moors, a territory bordered by and under constant threat of conquest from a human kingdom full of aggressive warriors. Oh, those bad human beings are back again. But an unlikely romance with Stefan, Toby Regbo, a solitary human intruder into the Moors, was to end in a cruel, ambition-fueled betrayal that would change Maleficent's whole character, leaving her bitter and vengeful. Hmm. Maleficent's opportunity to meet out her long-for retribution comes when Stefan, not not on, now Charlotte Charlotte Copley, whose act of treachery toward her has placed him on the throne of the human realm and that becomes the father of a baby girl, it says. At the infant's christening, Maleficent, Maleficent, they're going to call it Maleficent again, Maleficent places a curse on the child, dooming her to fall into an endless slumber on the day before her 16th birthday. On the day before her sweet 16th birthday party. Oh, that's so nice of you. Only, quote, true love's kiss, a phenomenon Mal Maleficent believes does not exist, will be able to awake the lass, it says. Yet, as Princess Aurora... L. Fanning, grows up. Her grace and innocent goodness melt Maleficent's heart, so much so that, aided by Diaval, Sam Riley, the shape-shifting crow who serves as her assistant and scout, the, rep the repentant Maleficent, Maleficent strives to thwart the fulfillment of her own mal mal malediction. As scripted by Linda Wolverton, Maleficent can be viewed as an honorable conversion story warning against a hunger for power and a thirst for revenge. Yet it startlingly subverts its source material in a way that can't be specified for fear of a spoiler, but that registers as vaguely anti-male and anti-marriage. The film contains some harsh action violence, and the Catholic News Service classification is A2 which means adults and adolescents. The Motion Picture Association of America has rated it PG, and yeah, some material, material may not be suitable for children. And that's the end of the article they have out for the Catholic movie reviews. But I want to know if any of you have seen it, and put your comments below about it. Now, here is my... <laughs> here is my um, uh, impersonation of Angelina Jolie in this movie.
Okay, that's all. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Have a good day and tell me about the movie.